Typically, a manhole base is poured in place by either Jensen precast personnel or a contract construction crew. Manhole sections, typically called barrels, which are one foot high to four feet high, are delivered to the job site. They are topped by an eccentric or concentric cone or a flat top. Concentric risers are placed over the access if necessary. A cast iron ring and cover will complete the assembly. Transportation to the job site is accomplished using a Jensen precast boom truck, line truck, or an outside carrier. A critical element of delivery is ensuring that all manhole material be secured using edge protectors. This prevents damage to the keyway and all exposed top surfaces of the manhole material. Step 1. Upon arrival at the job site, the boom truck driver inspects the position of the truck in relation to the excavation. The driver is inspecting the area for soft ground and other potential hazards which might cause the weight of the boom truck to create an excavation failure. In all situations where soft ground is encountered, cribbing must be used under the pads of the outriggers on the boom truck. Step 2. The excavation must be inspected by a competent person for excavation and trenching prior to anyone entering it. The inspection must be documented. No Jensen precast employee will enter an excavation unless the Jensen precast competent person has completed the required inspection and documentation. Step 3. A crew member enters the excavation and places mastic sealant around the top of the manhole base at the keyway. The crew member then exits the excavation. The first manhole section is now ready to be lowered into the excavation onto the manhole base. Step 4. The boom truck driver rigs the first manhole section and positions it over the excavation. Under no circumstances are any personnel to be in the excavation under a suspended load or while manhole sections are being lowered. The crew member will visually assist the boom operator in guiding the manhole section into position over the manhole base. The crew member is required to pass training for a qualified signal person prior to assisting the boom operator. When the manhole section being lowered is within 12 to 18 inches of the top of the base, a crew member enters the excavation to line up the outside marks on the manhole section, which mirrors the step location on the inside of the manhole section. The manhole section is lowered into place. A team member then installs mastic sealant around the top of the manhole section. Step 5. The team member then exits the excavation and the process is repeated from step 4 until the manhole stack is complete.